Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Heavy Duty Country. If you love America, or at least what's left of it, this is a channel for you. Well, look, let's let's start with just a five-second round of applause. You did it, Sleepy Joe. You set a record. No president has ever done this before. And no, I didn't mean you set a record and how many people you sniffed in eight months or how many speeches you completely botched. No, under your presidency, the U.S. just recorded the highest increase of homicide rate in modern history. A package of sunshine and ravioli. Macaroni, if you want the thing you love. You did it! Congratulations! Great job, everybody. It's great to meet you. Oh man, this is going to be a good one today. Let me give you just some really little details on this that shows how bad this is. It's terrible. The homicide rate in America has risen by 30%. And to give you an idea how big of a number that is, in 2001, the year where the attacks of September 11th happened. They counted all of those people who died that day in the homicide rate for that year. And it was still only 20% more than 2000. So you beat the year where thousands of people died on just one day by 10%. Can I just say that of all the idiots, in all the idiot villages, in all the idiot worlds, you stand alone. My friend. And some of you may be just scratching your head saying, how is this possible? In my opinion, you kind of have to have a plan in place to accomplish something like this. Something like this doesn't just happen unless you have a really, really solid plan to just screw everything up. Let me explain. First came defunding the police. We all know that that worked really well for raising the rate of crime and homicide. Really well. Good, good job, guys. Your plan worked on that. And we've still got people who want to continue it. George Soros, you rascal. He just donated $500,000, which is pocket change to him, into a campaign to oppose reinstating Austin police units that were defunded. Well, George Soros, I'm gonna give you a verbal kick in the nuts right now. You're like 90. Find something better to do than just create more crime. But defunding the police is a very small, Small reason why we have reached this rate of homicide and crime. Second one is because all the FBI does nowadays is they search for people who are at the January 6th protest. That's all they do. Actually, that's not true. They just added something else to what they're going to do, I, I guess. And no, it's not go after Antifa. People who create crime. No, no. No, there's no mention of that, even though they are the definition of domestic terrorists. No, the FBI is now going after parents who disagree with their school board. I am not kidding. If you're a parent out there and your school board has a meeting and they say to everybody, we know what's better for your children than you do. Are you going to disagree with them? Probably. You're not allowed to do that anymore that's considered domestic terrorism. And the FBI is on top of it. If parents show up at a school board to complain, uh, if somebody there decides, well, we don't like his tone of voice, we don't like how loud he's speaking, we don't like how often he shows up, then you can be reported. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, which should be focused on things like organized crime, things like drug traffickers, things like terrorism and others who seek to harm this country, is now going to divert resources to investigate parents because they scream too loudly or maybe are even rude at a school board hearing. But that's right, kids. Your parents are more dangerous than Antifa. Oh, but wait, we forgot the biggest one, the one that you're not even allowed to go into businesses anymore in LA if you didn't get the shot. Let me show you how dumb this continues to be. Take a look at this graph. This is over the past year. Oh, but no, no, no. We got to cover up children's faces. But you know, God, 
I just want to say once again, congratulations to Sleepy Joe and his whole administration. Y'all did it. You have achieved the highest growth in homicide rate ever. Golly, you should have put that on a ballot as far as what you were going to do when you ran. Hell, all the people who checked that box for you wouldn't have known the difference anyway. Oh, what does homicide mean? Oh, okay. It's, it's cool. There you go.